Hey guys, this is Edtom, and welcome to the Hellfire Comms playthrough of Ratchet & Clank 3, known to you Yanks as Up Your Arsenal. See, we're very, like, forward-thinking and savvy in the UK, so we'd get innuendos, that's why we don't get the innuendos in our versions of the game. But uh, we're going to be playing the version on the HD collection. It is a uh, lovely and beautiful and 73p and, I guess, 60fps and all that jazz, but... um. Mainly while we're playing this is, I promised you three PlayStation-centric 3D platforms this year. Uh, we've had Sly Cooper and the Phoebus Raccoonus. Uh, we've had Jack and Daxter and the Precursor Legacy. So I figured I'd play my favourite Ratchet game to cap the year off. And uh, I have a special guest with us today. Um, I know him as Charlie, my good friend Charlie, but most of you out there will probably know him as the Gaming Brit. Yeah, unfortunately. That is uh, that is my pseudonym. Oh come on! <laughs> you make high quality videos better than anything on HFC, my I, I make high quality videos. <laughs> so, um, what's your history of Ratchet, mate? When did you start the series? What's my history of Ratchet? Well, <laughs> Ratchet's become a bit of a taboo subject on my channel. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I was I um I was a pretty big fan of Ratchet back in the day. Um, one of my first PS2 games, I think, was the first Ratchet game. And uh, you know, what it really sparked my imagination, as <laughs> yeah. the, as, the, <laughs> as as people like to say when they're being nostalgic. Uh, yeah, it was it was great. It was amazing. It was like okay, so Spyro the Dragon, uh, he runs around, he breathes fire, he butts into people. Uh, you know, it's, it's great. But then it's like you jump up to PS2, and suddenly it's like you got all these weapons, all these tools you're using, you can go to different planets, you know? Like, uh, the environments were so much bigger, so much more lush, there was a little more um, emphasis put on the world building and the characters, and it was like, it was just, a, it was just a, like, you know, I played the Spyro games on PS1, it was like a full, it was like an evolution of the concept, it was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. wow, it was an evolution of the uh, Agent 9 concept from Spyro 3. Agent 9? Oh, because he could shoot bullets. Yes. Well, I'm just talking in the sense of being a 3D platform and where you can take the concept. Okay, I, um, went, I went with the simple explanation. You went with the fully <laughs> detailed one, which I think explains the difference of why your child's doing well and HFC's is... Mm. Well, it's kind of like that bit with the monkey that shot a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad we're doing this. Anyway, carry on, mate. Carry on. Um... But yeah, uh, I was... I, I, yeah, loved the first game, uh, loved the second game. You say this is your favourite one. Um, and I actually have a few criticisms for the third game, above the, above, uh, uh, on the other two, which I think is going to be interesting when we get into it. But, um... Well, you know, like, I think every other game I've played this year, I've not played this in years, I've explained this before. My favourite games, I tend to go on, like, hiatuses for, which is nothing new to HFC, but, uh, like, with Xenoblade, say, I love that, I'll play it all the way through, and then I won't play it for, like, another year or so, just to kind of come back in fresh. I will say this about Ratchet and Clank 3, I do think it is the funniest game in the series. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it has the definitely the, the punchiest script. Oh, and the, the best villain of the lot. The best villain, which they, uh, you know, they, they know is the best villain because they decide to overuse him to such a large degree later on in the series. But, um, yeah, uh, you can just tell by the beginning, it starts with like a comedy skit, it starts with a parody. Like of a uh, sort of role reversal where Clank is uh, is depicted as the here's the true hero in like a sort of in, in a movie. He's a movie star in this one, um, which you know that's that's already a hilarious joke. Oh my god, what if Clank was actually the one who's like saving the day and everyone thinks Ratchet's just his sidekick? You know, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you ever actually play like Secret Agent Clank? How was that? I did. Uh, I didn't finish it because I thought it was pretty boring. Okay. Um, it suffered from. Uh, it wasn't confident enough in its premise to carry the whole game, so it had loads of these boring Quark and Ratchet arena fights that just intermittently appeared. It was just really boring, you know. It, it had some fun ideas, but uh, generally speaking, it wasn't, wasn't that good. I'm going to be playing this live, so expect many a fail, many a crossfade, many edits, I yes, guess. Yes, I'm so glad we're playing it live. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You get the you get the experience of like mocking me, ripping exactly. me. Exactly, exactly. I don't like to see your filtered gameplay where you cut out all your deaths. Well, it's not real, you see. It's <laughs> not what a last play should be. <laughs> what do you got to hide, Tom? What do you got to hide? <laughs> Everything, man. Like you don't even know the real me. Even my Skype calls are edited. This was always quite fun as a as a kid. I remember because um, you know I played them when they were coming out, and uh, you know the second game takes place in a different galaxy than the first game. So after years, uh, booting up the third game and being back in Velding and having the the, the desk person -y girl tell you, oh, you're back in the old galaxy. It's like, well, I'm back in the old galaxy. Yeah, great. 
It's uh, it's fun. It's cool that they did that. Um, even though I, <laughs> I think I didn't even know it was called the Solana Galaxy until I booted up three, and I was like, oh, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was wondering why I didn't have a gun to begin with. I'm like, oh yeah, you get given a gun. Good yeah, stuff. what what is it with Ratchet and never like, he's, like never bringing guns to the beginning of his games where he either gets kidnapped or his friends get killed? It always happens. I know. Have you played any of the recent ones like Nexus? And, oh uh, no, I've not played any of the like future trilogy at all. Oh really? Okay. Well. Um, Kind of ironic that I'm playing like the HD version on the PS3 and I've not played any of the PS3 games, I don't know. I, know. So, I think we won't open the future critique can of worms for now since we're just getting started, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean this HD collection is pretty good. Uh, I think it has some graphical glitches a few times where the Ratchet's helmet is on wrong, you know, or something. I, <laughs> I seem to be doing okay so far, knock on wood. Yeah, I mean you got to concentrate on the gameplay, man, you know. Mm. Concentrate. All you do is like walk forward and press circle. Yeah, well, this level actually looks pretty different to how it did in the original game. Mm -hmm. Like, um, the only bit that's the same is the bit at the end where you enter Ratchet's old shakaroo. I'm not sure if this is going to be like a 100% playthrough. You're not I'm sure? I think you're pretty sure it's not going to be, Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, you know, do you actually even get anything for 100% in the game? Um, I think you do. Uh, I can't remember, though. Um, I, well, you get the Insomniac Museum. Well, there's ways to unlock that without 100% in the game, so I may just go with that angle. Uh, can't remember. I know there's, you get things in the other games. In, in, Glad in Gladiator, you get, like, a cyborg ninja outfit with two samurai swords. Oh, nice. No, I love Gladiator, by the way. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Gladiator. Only cool. when playing in co-op, though, because it becomes a completely different experience. Yeah, and I think there's no online co-op in the uh, PS3 re-release, unfortunately. So I've heard, which uh, is why I haven't bought it, I guess. Because I remember specifically like attempting to do a play for that with a digital alchemist, and um, we got all the way up to actually sitting down to record it, only to find out there was no multiplayer mode, so what do you do? He plays Jack in, in the two-player. Really? Yeah, the, uh, there's, there's a, uh, only in co-op mode that you can play as a... Uh, you can play as uh, original Jack. No, not angry Jack then. Not angry Jack. Well, he looks pretty <laughs> angry. It's it's original Jack, but he looks pretty angry because he's in Gladiator and he's in an energy game. What's the situation? So these are the new Galactic Ranger characters. Kind of the, it's the uh, comedic, uh, cowardly soldier archetype. <laughs> I'm not I, I, I'm not gonna say it. Like Ratchet and Clank Three is a very joke game. And you know, not all of the jokes land, but a good, a good fair few of them do, I'd say. I'm, I'm seeing what you mean about the graphical issues, by the way. There's minor hitches in the uh, cutscenes sometimes. I'm not sure if that's my recording software or not, but it may be the HD collection doing the business. I, uh, I actually noticed a glitch in the, in the HD collection when I first played it that hurt, that hurt me. Uh, in the original Ratchet game, uh, there was a glitch in the NTSC version where the final boss music wouldn't play. Huh. And uh, since this is based on the NTSC version, uh, there was no final boss music in, wow. the, uh, in the in the final boss of the first game, which annoyed me, being a being a pal boy, having heard the the final boss theme. Um, I sent I sent in this. I sent Insomniac a tweet, but they didn't get back to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you sternly criticizing them. So I was like, why is this why is this final boss music got to be lost to to lost to time? You know, that's the well, you can't have a final boss without final boss music. It's just not done. It's not done. No. It was just the level music again. I think this is. Do they? Do they think this is Pokemon Coliseum? Ah, reference. Oh man, I remember that. <laughs> I actually cheated my way to the final boss there because I could not oh be doing God. with its fake ass, almost Pokemon game but not quite experience. Hey man, that was the real Pokemon game. That was the game where you had two on two for every battle. Real strategies, man. <laughs> okay, I'm not entirely sure what I'm meant to be doing here. I'm just going about shooting things. Oh, I think we're supposed to kill. This is the. Uh, this is one of those new things they added. One of those new things they added. Um, where the whole like radar uh, sort of area combat, which kind of ties into the multiplayer a little bit, uh, where you just go around and you complete objectives. Kind of the most boring part of this game, I think, uh, are the arena battles. You know. Oh, so I just have to kill everything. Yeah, I think you just have to kill everything. Okay. I think that one of them says they're coming out of the goddamn walls, which now, as, a, as an adult, I realize is a hilarious reference. And I should have I been laughing uh, 
I should have been just in hysterics as a kid when I heard that line. <laughs> they do the same thing in, um, in Time Splitters 3 as well, I believe, or just any video game around any that time, really. Game, yeah. Ow! It's like all the, all the kids from the 80s grew up and started making video games. The, mm -hmm. the wee little nipper snappers. I think I may need to, like, invert the camera controls a little bit. I'm getting a bit disorientated. Yo, no, no one in the video game industry can decide what third-person camera inverted actually means. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you play games from the same company and they change their mind in between titles. Like, it's because it's so neb it's so nebulous a concept. Like, where is the camera really made? <laughs> where is it really? Is it inside <laughs> us? Is it in the battlefield itself? Who knows? Oh yeah, there's a lion leading the whole... Oh, see, see the helmet? See the helmet on Ratchet? It's huge for some reason. Ha 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 ha, Ratchet, oh my god, that is a big helmet. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know how they screwed that one up. Other than that, though, I mean, the game plays the same. No, com no complaints. I mean, it's interesting that they added the multiplayer, uh, online multiplayer to this, which I never played as a kid, because I don't think anyone knew how to hook a PS2 up to the internet. Oh, this, 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 uh, this video is hilarious. <laughs> I actually remember the twist to, uh, this whole jungle planet thing, which is kind of funny. <laughs> One of nature's mysteries! I'm glad you remember, Tom, since we're about to do the level now. Good stuff. <laughs> a banana. <laughs> like, it, I kind of, I miss these videos, you know, they're not really in the new games. The new games are kind of self-serious, and they don't have these um, these funny level preview videos. I get why they were removed, because they wanted to go for that new tone, it's just their new tone kind of sucks. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's why I haven't really felt like playing them, because I've like, heard a lot of mixed opinions. I think the first game... Gets a fair bit of praise, and I've heard good things about cracking time. The second one, maybe not so much. I know you boys won't let me down. You can count on I keep trying to remember what I was trying to say about the videos. The videos, um, I think they got removed. Well, I mean, they were, were they in, yeah, they were in Gladiator. But that was more like, that was really going heavy for the whole... Because the whole jokes are like, most of those videos are like, sort of, infomercial jokes, you know? Where they're like, poking fun at advertisements and stuff, and of course... Gladiator's whole theme was about advertising and media bias, so that it, pl <laughs> it played well into that. Isn't that right, Juanito? No, what it, what it got replaced with in the new games is just painfully unfunny intercom comedy. People just yapping at you over the gameplay with constant unfunny puns or generic consumerism jokes which felt super out of place all of the sudden because now the games were trying to be really sincere in the story just got way over abused way over abused ooh ooh plasma whip yes you can't. Oh, you 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 can buy it. Oh yeah. No, plasma whip isn't really the most useful weapon. I mean, it's just a bigger wrench with ammo, <laughs> but it's cool. Well, I know what it upgrades to, so. The bigger plasma whip. Oh yeah, plasma whip plus. <laughs> <laughs> New plasma whip for 3ds. There we go. Much better camera. Start. Oh, this is the first uh, multiplayer bolt thingy you get. Mm -hmm. To get more cashola. Good stuff, I will need a lot of cashola. Oh my god. Yeah, now we're talking. Hey, game designer, what if we put the multiplayer box in front of a big room full of boxes? Well... Oh, this, the... <laughs> this will explain the concept. Yeah, you're being all sorky about that, but that's like a perfect example of allowing the player to practice this mechanic in a safe environment. Hey man, I can't wait for all the design videos on Ratchet and Clank 3 and how they, uh, how they, how they totally teach the player how to use the multiplier box. Oh Jesus, like, guys, like, this is your first playthrough experience with gaming, Brit. You thought I was sorky, you ain't seen fucking nothing yet. <laughs> oh my god, like, I was talking to, um... I was talking to, uh, to, uh, an unnamed friend. And um, uh, he, he was talking. He was talking. We were talking about the proliferation of like game design videos after Igoraptor did his Mega Man X video, uh -huh. which is a pretty good video. Um, Ow! Dead. It's, 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 I don't think people people didn't really analyze games that way before that video. 
And you can sort of argue how accurate the video is, but it's, 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 a, it's a good idea for a video. But he was telling me about, like, you know how in the Mega Man X video he's like, um, the game teaches you how to jump by falling down a chasm in a safe area, and it's like you jump back up. He was telling me about this video he saw about Super Metroid. Where there's this video some kid did where he's like, and there's a little, there's a, there's a tiny jump in the starship at the beginning. This teaches you how to jump over the tiny, the tiny step in the starship. And I'm like, oh god. Yeah. Ah. But I'm having trouble strafing right now. Well, now I can't really talk about it, Tom, because you've just got not been knocked back half a level. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, this is going to require a lot of editing. Oh, is it? Yeah, don't worry about it. Keep the funny bits in while I'm making fun of you dying, though, please. Yeah, I will. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I was going to talk about the ladder and how they have this ledge mechanic in the first game and they start making you hop up ledges. And they have ladders in this game, but they never give Ratchet, like, a ladder animation. He always just hops up the side of the ladder. And then we'll see it in a minute. Don't worry. Thanks, Tom, for ruining my great point. <laughs> how did I kill him so easily there, but I didn't before? Because um, the weapon was upgraded. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Man, this thing, this thing is doing a lot of damage now. These the weapons up, the upgrade, uh, upgrading super fast compared. Oh, it's because they have like five levels now, don't they? Mm-hmm. As opposed to uh, one, as they did in the second game. I'm uh, gonna get that rapid fiery weapon soon enough. I think it's like what, fifteen thousand bolts. Yeah, I think you can uh, save up up to the next. Sorry, I'm I'm drinking a little bit of white wine. <laughs> so if I hiccup. Yeah, perfect for let's plays. Just drink a bit of Chablis. Listen. We're making videos on the internet. Drinking in the middle of the day is the only way to get through it. Okay. Seriously, seriously. <laughs> Look at these guys having a chat. They're just having they a chat, man. Then this arbiter of death rolls through with his giant ass bazooka. Rush is all about those gun rights, man. He's going to be voting for that Trump. Funny. I swear there's like a, a <laughs> bolt or something around here, but I'm not going to risk it right now. Like a golden bowl, is what I meant to say, though. Oh, uh, no, I don't think it's around there. It's, you have to hover... Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, but you can just jump over the ledge. You don't need a... Not the other ledge. The, you know, I'm not even going to try giving you directions. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're looking at this with not all that much delay, honestly. It's like a few seconds. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's still impossible to give someone directions within 3D space over the internet on a Skype. Room. I guess. I can't, I can't point my finger at the side of the screen and be like, go there. <laughs> yeah. Just like your hand appears in the game. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's a new mechanic. Oh, if you survive and long enough to get it. Oh, oh, I remember that upgrade. Yeah. Dude, the whole level just exploded there for a second. Inferno power. For a limited time. Yeah, I mean, it's like one of those things that later in the game becomes kind of useless because you just want to upgrade your weapons, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of cool that Ratchet gets Devil Trigger in this game, but... <laughs> just, <laughs> it just, it, it feels a bit forced. It feels like, let's put something new in the game. What could we do? Berserk mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's um, the last armor you can unlock, right? Yeah. Oh, I think you, you you did the spacing very very badly there. Yeah, I'm getting used to the controls again. Shut hard up. Hard to hard to blame you though. I mean, look at that. There we go. <laughs> I'm all good. Oh, stuff just right for the taking. I think there's a trophy behind that wall to the left if you're brave enough to get it. And and, and I'm talking like a physical, real trophy, not like today's trophies. Oh, you got this. You got this by the balls, man. Wow, that was really easy. Maybe this is what I was thinking of. Well, it wasn't easy. I mean, it was easy to get to, but you didn't know it was there, you know. So it wasn't it wasn't easy. Nice. Oh, you did get a real trophy as well. I mean, a fake trophy. I mean, you know. Yeah, trophies <laughs> upon trophies upon trophies. So you're, you're being smart and you're hitting all the things to get the bolts that we need to buy the weapons. Like, you try to praise me, but it sounds like you're also being patronizing. Maybe that's just your <laughs> natural speech pattern. It's like, I can't stop being sarcastic, Tom. Help me. Uh, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do apologize if uh, the gameplay seems a bit ropey just for this world, because I always struggled with this one, mostly due to those giant fuckers. 13 health points, man. Bad luck. Bad luck incoming. Jinx, jinx. Ah, you can't destroy me. Only I can destroy me. 
Yes, go use the melee weapon against the uh, <laughs> the enemy across the screen. There we go. Yeah, man, that that upgrade that's pretty good. I think it's going down easy now. It's kicking some ass, all right. Ah, you see, the game teaches you um, about weapon upgrades by giving them to you very fast and showing to you how strong the first upgrade can be. Indeed, indeed. If you if you had to create a sequel, Iris, which Ratchet game would be the ones you would pick? Would it be like? None of them. These jokers are clearly making this shit up as they go along. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ratchet, we have company. Where? Ah, oh, monkey. You? Where? Behind you. See, so you can't do these Where kind of gags with seamless transitions into cutscenes. Dude, Quark is a massive guy, you know. Wait, that's Captain Quark? Oh, was I not supposed to... <laughs> was I not supposed to say that? <laughs> The path of death! Uh, whatever, you crazy jungle-living piece of shit. Damn, man. Phew, getting a bit, getting a bit racy here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, as long as it's racy and not racist, you know. Okay, we're maxed out. Oh, I'm so close to that. One thing I will say I like about uh, the Ratchet games is no live system. So I don't have to worry about big shit. Or I have to worry about finding good edit points. Life systems became illegal on PS2. I think that's that's pretty clear. Uh, there's a there's a plot plat titanium platinum bolt titanium bolt in this course. Um, yes, kind of, yeah, there is. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's in that little house over there. You're looking at. Okay. And if you know, if you want to risk it, I'm going to be saying that a lot during this playthrough. You want to risk it, Tom. It's not my fault. Just because I told you where it is, <laughs> <laughs> you mess it up. I'm pretty sure you can turn the thruster pack on already. Really? Yeah. Uh. I forget, what do these allow you to do? I think you buy skins in this game. Nice, nice. This is a wacky channel, we'll put some skins on at some point. Yeah. This is a wa wacky gaming channel for wacky gaming boys and girls. Now, this obstacle course isn't too bad, at least from what I remember for the most part, until we get to like near the end and there's just fire coming out of every single orifice, like Jesus Christ. Orifice? They're holes in the ground, Tom. Why yeah, you, get, you, why you know what away? I mean. The holes! Jeez, the holes, Charlie! <laughs> Orifice. Yuck. Squishy noises coming into my brain. Dude, this is... this. Don't don't get Ratchet squashed here. I'll try not to. No promises. Because he'd be dead in real life. Yeah, I know. <laughs> man, this is going to take a while to upgrade this one. It's a big bomb, man. Yeah, once you get to the arena fights, you start upgrading really fast, because it's just enemies. Look at this madman not even looking at the patterns, just running through. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> not a single fuck. Look at those boulders and fiery things. I can't decide which I want more. I'll go with all of them. Oh, you're still off. By a thousand. Uh, if you beat the boss with a weapon that you want to upgrade, I think it gives you a lot of XP for that weapon. Okay. Nice. I think. We walked your path of death. Now, tell us what you He's know. He's got the quark symbol nefarious. on his outfit, Ratchet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dr. Nefarious! They say you're the only man to ever beat him. Who? Jeez. This guy's even dumber than Captain Quark? Yeah. <laughs> Captain Quark! <laughs> That's it, Quark. You've had this coming for a long time. It's cool. It's cool. I got it. I got it. Ah! Oh, you didn't you didn't refill your ammo, man. I'm fine. It's cool. It's all good. It's got a very simple pattern now that I look at it. Yeah, standing still and throwing one little like <laughs> ancient bit of weaponry at you. You are gonna you be the you are gonna be the death of me, I swear to god. <laughs> well you have this giant cannon. <laughs> Look at that look, look guy, he's just strolling towards you. You saw that? Yeah. You see that? <laughs> he thought he was so badass. Oh yeah. Ah! Oh one. yeah. Uh -huh. Out of ammo sound effect. Can you not throw that while you're strafing? Uh not while you're strafing, I don't think, no. Yeah, in the uh, in the PS3 games and the later ones they let you uh, throw the wrench while strafing kinda like a gun. Nice. I, I need some ammo, like, now. I think there's some around the stage, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> Who said I didn't? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're moving backwards when I say it. I 
Ah, that smells like a son of a bitch. Nitro uh, launcher? Is this an epic Crash Bandicoot reference? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yes. Second try. Oh man, look how much XP you got on the whip. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. So, Fork has completely lost his mind. Now what? Just keep the mask on. Yes, he will obey whoever wears the mask, because that's how it works in the jungle. Dude, is that mask an epic Crash Bandicoot reference? <laughs> Stop saying. <laughs> uh, this is just going to be the entire playthrough, isn't it? <laughs> Brit shits on Ed Tom, the playthrough. Well, I suppose that's why I deserve, you know, if I fuck up, at least there's someone here to say, oh, you're fucking up, Tom. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be fine when we get to the higher levels. Uh, hi. <laughs> Look at that little eyebrow wag. Does she appear in, like, any of the games? Uh, she's in, like, Gladiator at the beginning. Oh, yeah, so she is, yeah. Uh, Ratchet gets a squeeze in every game, man. You should know that by now. Mm-hmm. What happened to that... Other, like, ratchet race check for the second Oh, game. shit! Lock it down! Shut down the feed! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's something I can, like, deny all plausibility or whatever. Uh, no, I think they do do... They, they reference her in, like, a funny way. I mean, it's like... Uh, in one of the games, they're like, Oh, she left the universe. Wink, wink. Like, someone says that. I don't know. Just like punted her into a black hole or something. I think they've decided, they've decided at this point that the old PS2 game is in a different canon. And it was like a, like, light reboot in the PS3 games. I think I'd rather stay at the PS2 panel, to be honest. I know, right? Let's, let's stay, easy. let's stay in our childhoods forever. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Phoenix, gentlemen. Oh yeah, the Starship yeah. Phoenix. Best subworld in the Ratchet games, yes, no? It's the only subworld in the Ratchet. Well, there's the spaceship in Gladiator, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it probably is. I mean, it's the, it's the new addition to this game, I guess. In the previous two, you were just kind of hopping around from planet to planet, and here you've got like a little base to go back to. Which was the Ratchet game where you actually travelled about in a starship? Is that two? No, you just have a little ship in that one. Okay. Uh, I mean, Gladiator, you get taken everywhere in like a prison ship. Mm -hmm. I think in this game they're like, hey, you gotta go to that planet ratchet, we'll get you closer with our starship in this cutscene, and it's like, okay, yeah. Well, yeah, I can tell you're secretly using this to load, it's fine. Yeah, there's, uh, <laughs> we just set up the, uh, the, the cage for this, uh, this madman next to your living quarters and everyone's beds. Oh man, do you have any save data from the previous Ratchet games? I do not. Oh well, you're not getting all the unlockables. Ah! Ah! I'm like 200 away. To be honest, that's one of the coolest features I... I it, look, there it is. Um, the special employee discount. In the first Ratchet game, you meet a character and uh, you become a Gadgetron employee. And in that cutscene, they say, hey, uh, Ratchet's like, do I get a discount on, on weapons? And he says, the discount doesn't kick in until you're an employee for two years. And Ratchet and Clank 3 comes out two years after oh, Ratchet and Clank I love 1. It. I love it. And so if you have the memory card data, you get a discount on all the weapons in the game. That's beautiful. That was before That was before hard drives and all that shit, and they still don't do cool stuff like that today. I like that, but I also like... Get the weapon. Get the weapon, come on. You, you're, you, you've you proven yourself that you're an expert at dodging so far. So. <laughs> you're pushing me <laughs> over the fucking line, Charlie. You're pushing me over the fucking line. Well, nothing that edits can't fix, I guess. Dude, I'm, I'm going to make some some, some, some bomb-ass... Some, some, not some bomb-ass jokes, but some joke-ass bombs, and you can make fun of me then. Okay. Oh, your first trophy is a trophy of you that you found in the jungle. Nice, nice. And this is the Insomniac Museum, I believe. Yeah, I think it is. Whoa, that is yeah. that is one PS2 model. <laughs> Seriously, it's like a trophy should not have jaggies, okay? 